Hey everyone, welcome back to Tiny Record Time, the small music show for big music listeners. I'm Josh, and today is part 5 of songs from my record collection that last at least one side of an LP. Now this includes stuff like Kraftwerk's uh, Autobahn or 2112 by Rush. Now we've been going from shortest song to longest song, and we're already over the 20 minute mark. So without wasting too much time, let's get started. First up, we have Echoes by Pink Floyd. The... 23 minute and 31 second experimental psychedelic prog rock piece that this band just it made up in the studio when they went into the studio to record this album as a whole they had no idea of really what the heck they were doing they just had no idea no concept and they're like let's experiment so they did and they just had fun with it and they created this ambient and proggy just like, it was some parts of ambient, some parts of sometimes it's just rock and awesome solos by David Gilmore. And it's amazing. Um, and it's actually the third longest Pink Floyd song, with the longest being Shiny Crazy Diamond at 26 minutes and 14 seconds. However, that song is split into two big sections on the album Wish You Were Here. And the uh, second longest song is Adam Hart Mother Suite at... Uh, 23 minutes and 44 seconds off the album Adam Heart Mother um, but again this is an amazing album actually released on Halloween of 1971 which is pretty cool and the original title for um, Echoes was Nothing Parts 1 through 24 until they finally came up with a title for as Echoes as we know today so it's really good very fun very just cool relaxing chill but just awesome to listen to and next up, we have an album by the nice guy of rock and roll. Well, that's just a song, but it's Play by Dave Grohl. You know, singer and guitarist of Foo Fighters and the drummer for Nirvana. Uh, he's been in plenty of other projects, including the Queens of the Stone Age, uh, Probot, and a few others. I mean, he's been a lot. <laughs> and, oh, and then Crooked Vultures. He's been so much. Um, but this is his solo song. Uh, play it's just him having fun in the studio he described it as a playground he could just do whatever he wanted and he created this uh, 23 minute and 36 second piece and it's just cool to see him just have fun and just you know play around and it, uh, the inside opens up like this and this making it really cool and that's the whole setup and the record has an etching on the second side. If I can get it out, there we go. Do you can see that? But uh, there's all the instruments he used, and that's hard to see. But yeah, that's Dave Grohl. It's play. It's very good, very fun. I remember when it came out in 2018. I was like, whoa! I was super into Foo Fighters then. Still like Foo Fighters, but not as big as I am as I was then back when I was in high school. But it's a good, it's just a good time. It's a good listen. Yeah, yeah. So that's play. Next we have Chicks Diggits, 20, 2012. The song made for to remember their 2012 tour it covers 19 different cities, and there's like many songs per city, but the song never really stops. So it is one song. It takes up one whole side. Of it's only single side. The second side's etched with uh, all the provinces or states or countries they played in, um, and it's just crazy. It is the longest punk song uh, as of now. The longest before this was "The Decline" by No Effects, which was featured in an earlier video. This song is 24 minutes and 23 seconds. It was released by Fat Records in 2016, and it is Chicks Diggit's most recent release, besides a split EP they released in 2019 from a label in Japan. On the, I think they were on tour out there. But it is amazing. It, I don't think I have a particular favorite city song, but they're all super fun. It's a great song. And for their song about Seattle, they do a reference to Hunger Strike by... Uh, Temple of the Dog, and they say we're not going hungry because there's just an abundance of food out there because they stopped at Trader Joe's. They love it. Food's cheap. Um, but yeah, it's great. I love it, and it's super, super good. 
Next up, we have Coma Witch by uh, the Case of Strain. The song in question is Observer. Coming in at 27 minutes and 33 seconds, this song takes up two full sides of sides C and D of the LP. It is absolutely just skull crushing. It's emotional, but it's just awesome. It's it's an epic. It's a deathcore epic. <laughs> I guess that's a thing. But the Acacia Strain did it, and the album art's great too. It's a really just it's amazing. <laughs> You can't go on with the case of strain and i remember the first time i heard it i think i was with my buddy paul uh we were driving to this record store i'm pretty sure it was a green tangerine and uh he brought the cd he says like oh i got this long song it's, called, it's not as long as dope smoker by sleep but it's a long because i just discovered dope smoker and um so he played it and i'm like whoa man this is awesome and then after I had bought this record, I used to work at a record store, which uh, moved out to St. Joseph, Michigan. So I'm in Illinois. I really can't do that. <laughs> but the owner, she hated metal music. And I played this album. And from the first second, well, first second when the music starts of Human Disaster, she's like, Josh, what the hell is that? And it was, <laughs> it was pretty funny. But yeah, this is amazing. And it's it's awesome. It's it's a pretty awesome and great piece. I just keep saying awesome, but it's a, it's an amazing piece. Can't get wrong with it. And the vinyl is colored. It's actually the tour variant. I didn't see them on tour, but I found it at a discreet play near me. Yeah, look at that awesome white and purple uh, just mashup Starburst. It's crazy good. His strain always has good colors when they use it. Um, but yeah, that is the Observer. Amazing. And finally, we have, I think, one of the best progressive rock pieces ever, Carnival 9 by Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. Written mostly by Keith Emerson and Greg Lake. And uh, they had another writer for some of the lyrics, but the musically is Greg Lake and Keith Emerson. <laughs> and it's, it's... It's insane. It takes up about one and a third side of an LP. It takes up the full second side and part of the third, uh, the first side. And it comes out to 29 minutes and 37 seconds, making it their longest song. Just a few minutes longer than Tarkus, which I also explained in an earlier video. And it is about, uh, the whole song is about Earth being a cold, desolate, uh, bleak place. And the, probably the future, they really don't explain what time it is. Could be, could have been back then, or it could be now. Who knows, but it's not. Anyways. Um, however, in the first impression, they talk about a carnival um, with rare things like seven virgins, a mule, and a real blade of grass. So that's pretty cool. Um, the second impression is an instrumental about a war against the humans. Oh, I'm sorry. It is about computers scheming against the humans and humans have no idea what's going on and the third impression is about a war between humans and computers and there are multiple endings that could be interpreted from the humans winning to computers winning or the humans winning but at their time of victory the computers are able to take over um, and it's an absolutely magnificent piece of work um i love it i even did a paper on this song in college well, well a college i went to i'm still in college right now but this is just it's it's an amazing piece it's a marvel of progressive rock and classic rock history i love it and i think you know everyone should listen to it and it doesn't matter what music you like i think everyone should listen to it and also the title brain salad surgery is an old term for getting head. Fun fact for you. Um, well, that has been part five of uh, Tiny Record Time for songs that last at least one side of an LP. I'm Josh, and this is the Small Music Show for Big Music listeners. Thank you so much for watching. I'll try and get the next part out soon, which I'm pretty sure will be the last part. Again, thank you for watching. Like, share, comment, subscribe. See you later.